Hello everybody, this is Mon Retro Gamer, and welcome to Jack to the Future. Uh, okay, so, in the last episode, we did some stuff. We beat Manos in the Hand of Fate. Today, you may notice we're not where we used to be. The reason being, we're back in the first area. Uh, in between when I recorded the last video and when I... Uh, I'm recording this, the developer commented on the first and third videos, uh, warning me that I've missed some stuff. One of these items I cannot guess, that is the boss belt, which is only available at the very start of the game. You can backtrack all the way to the first area, but you can't backtrack to Jack's room in the past. So the boss belt, which raises your attack a little, is completely gone. However. There is stuff over here that we can still get. We have to cross over this bridge, which I never did the first time we came here. And I can talk to this guy. I'm afraid you can't cross here, sir. Why not? I'm afraid this is a bridge too far for you, sir. But here are a couple of beers for your trouble. Sometimes a triangle is just a triangle, but sometimes they are pointing at things. Me tells him not so subtle hinting. And you see, if we go down here, there's something stuck in this bucket. We can't check again. What was it? Well, let's go into the items. A fly swatter. What? No, we can't stop here. This is bat country. So if we go to Felix's equipment, we can't equip it as a mate, as a weapon, even though it has the same look. However, it does function as an accessory. Question is who to equip it to. And I'd say Mark is the one who deserves it the best at the moment because he's pretty much the weakest. So, now we're gonna keep going through the world and getting everything that we possibly can. I've also discovered that there is a run button, which will make these traveling segments much easier on everyone. And I also discovered some other things as well on the way that the uh, little cowboys from hell in this area, um, well, there's stuff to do with them too. Also, um, down here, cat girls. Pretty pretty please help me, Guan and me. We've done lost our way. Find someone who knows the way home for the cat girls? Sure. So let's go down here. Jane. We can just take these guys out so easily, I'm not even going to like skip this fight. Even though it's a random encounter, it's just like, dude. You do nearly nothing to me. I do not care. Got a leather top. Felix is now level 15. See? We benefited. Uh, hello. Singing our space songs on a spiderweb sitar. Let sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. Let sunshine, let sunshine in. The sun shine in. We already talked to her. There was a thing with that, but um, I think we either did it wrong or we did it right the time. You see, some of these things, they give you Guinness for free, but they don't mention it. Sitting home, living day by day, may be safe, but it can't be duller, seeing things only black and grey when the world is alive with colour. Doing just as your neighbours do may be wise, but it ain't so clever. Every man is a dreamer too, let them go and they're gone forever. Out there, somewhere, just out of sight, there's a world that's blazing with light. Ain't each man alive got the right? To stray just a mite from the straight and narrow, shoot through the night like a blazing arrow. Excuse me. Barnum's the name, P.T. Barnum. And whether you think my humbug's a blessing or a curse, you're still gonna buy it. You know why? Because every 60 seconds in this world, a delightful phenomenon, t phenomenon takes place that absolutely guarantees it. Hello, I would like to ask you... There is a sucker, born every minute. Each time that second hand sweeps to the top like dandelions up they pop. Their ears so big, their eyes so wide, and though I feed them bonafide baloney with no truthness, why you can bet I'll find some rube to buy my corn. 
Because as a sure as shooting sucker born a minish, and I'm referring to the minish you were born. Hey! Oh my, yes, sorry, uh, I was rehearsing. How can I help you? I met these two cat girls and they're lost. Do you know them? Why, of course I do. We did cats together last season. Here, let me draw you a map for them. Okay. So, if we take this map and give it back to the cat girls, we should get a reward. Oh my, you met Mr. Quafoot and he gave you a map for us? How wonderful. It was a gift from you, kind sir. And it was to Guinness. Why a little cat girl had Guinness, I don't know, and I don't want to know. Janes. We'll be on our way, Janes. Just regardless of you trying to do things, it's gonna be on our way. There's also a sign at the start of the game that actually allows us to change the difficulty. However, I have since realized that it also resets our level. So, no thank you. Okay, over to the right here. Ooh, some cowboys from hell. We can actually do the thing I was mentioning. I'm also running on the updated version of 2.0, not just the original version. So, I'm actually a little... Basically, Get Schneeksy works a bit better. So, you know. It should be a lot better. See, Jack evaded. It has a better happening rate. It's more likely to actually go off, but it's also less likely to actually do a counter. Which, overall, is a fair trade-off. Because we're still doing a fair amount of damage, and get Schneeksy is just kind of a benefit as opposed to anything that is necessary. We're doing grand, lads, we're doing grand. Next turn, next turn we're gonna put up a fairy's breath. And that's gonna be that's gonna be us recovered. Okay, lads. Just attack. Elix. And there we go. There's also some armor you can get from these guys, which would be pretty good if we could get it to drop. Because, as you know, Jack is using the same default... Or sorry, the second level of armor. We got a harp, and Jack is now level 16. Okay, we didn't get what we were looking for. However, over here, uh, the bottom, bottom right of the area... There seems to be something tucked back here behind this broken bit here. What was that? The tea shades Friend to dope fiends the world over. So, let's see what it does. It raises attack and luck while lowering defense. Jack is the kind of person that this would work perfect for, so we're gonna give it to him. And Jack's party was a victorious 625 experience, 750 gold. We got two harps and a flail. I didn't even know they dropped flails. 10 extra damage for Felix. I will take it. I will happily take that. Moving on. Moving on over to the bottom left area of this zone. Okay, if we see here, we can't walk on this space for some reason. What possibly could be there? I'll just deal with these guys first. Jack's party was victorious, 375 experience, 450 gold, we got another flail. Okay. But if we talk here... Man come in my bush must pay price. Not a bush girl. For some reason. So we are going to attack. And she attacked Jack. Smart. And we win. Jack's party was victorious. 100 and 100. I don't know why there was a bush girl there, but it was pointed out by this log with the triangles. Nipple, nipple, tweak, tweak, and away. Okay, so we're back to basically around the place we currently are. So, there's two things we can do around here. One involves the tree, and the other involves another accessory. See this rock? What's it shaped like? It's shaped like a triangle. 
So if we go up here, you see something shiny down in the well. What is it? Why? Oh yeah, we also got this from the Cat Girls. A flyer for a rally for the Faux News Org. I'm not sure what that does. But we got the Lucky Charm. Magically delicious. So, who's the only person that doesn't have a thing equipped yet? Well, magically delicious. It increases luck by 30. To be fair, Jack is the one who deserves this more. So... Sorry, Jack, but at least you're more likely to crish. So we are going to give tea shades to Felix, which actually means he might actually do some decent damage, which is good. Now, the final thing we're going to do before we try to do any more actual progress in the game is come over here. The teapot has fresh boiled water inside. You get a bottle from the keeper and take some. Okay. So, what does that mean? Well, it means this. If I can get through the bloody gate. Uh, <laughs> go back this way, and we're gonna talk to the tree. Excellent. Sprinkle it all, all over me. Slowly. Oh yeah, just like that. And what does that do? Well, it gets us another item. The Ent Made Armor, clothing made myth with magic wood. I assume it's also by magic wood. But still, if we take our leather top, we can now replace it with Ent Made Armor. Which is pretty damn sweet. You know? Jack is now doing really good. Doing really good, and we can sell some of the stuff that we got previously. I mean, there is armor we can get from the Cowboys from Hell. Um, which is stronger than what we currently have, but ultimately that's not something we need to worry about. So, let's see what we can sell. We can sell the mace for 50, flail for 250, two leathers, and a leather hat. That's it. Uh, I don't know what the faux news org rally flyer does. Um, if the dev wants to contact me again and tell me what it actually does, that would be nice. Um, and there is stuff here that we could possibly get. If we sold a few Guinness, we could get a Mithril cap from Mark. But he does have the bronze cap, which isn't too bad. However, it's Mithril plate and the Brigandine, or the Brig Brigandine, which is actually the impressive stuff. What's strange is the mithril plate is actually, um, you can get it for cheaper. I think that's because, um, Mark, or Felix can't equip it. So, it's not available to all the party, so mithril is a bit cheaper. Regardless, we are now going to go into the next area. Which is a dungeony spot. Dungeony spotiony doodah. We're a bit more well equipped, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Oh, hello. There's a guy down this corner. Pull the string. Pull the string. Where? What string? I don't understand. It's Bella. Oh, Bella, what are we going to do with you? I don't know. I'm going to beat you. I'm gonna beat you a bit. I'm gonna play for roughly 20 minutes raw time. Maybe 25, 25 minutes raw time, which means that I have another 10 minutes of recording. And then we're going to be probably calling it day. So far, we're doing good. So far, we're doing very good. Bella is a vampire. Hmm. I wonder what that could possibly be referencing. We found a Guinness, anyway. Okay, and there really doesn't seem to be that much around here. It's kind of... Blah, this simplifies everything. So, are you from Twilight or something? Twilight, that tween twiddle, I am the original sexy vampire. Felix got a critical. Felix got a critical! 
Are you kidding me? Oh my god! What is the world coming to? Ah. I don't I don't care. Felix gets a critical. I do not care. As long as he is productive to the team. Got a Guinness. I'm not getting any weapons or armor from these guys. I mean, I admit it's kind of slow to get that kind of stuff. Beware, beware of the big green dragon that sits on your doorstep. What is this? This is baloney! Is it baloney? Or is it pepperoni? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Do you know for sure? No. Just out of Fairy's Breath, when we defeat her, Guinness Mark is now level 13. That is good going! Um, that was a pointless loop. Okay, moving on. Don't mind Lobo, he's as harmless as a kitten. Sure! A big kitten. A very big kitten. A very, very big kitten! As in full grown tiger! I mean, ah! He's not a, he's not a little thing. He's a big guy. Felix is now level 16. Saint is learned. What does Saint do? Deals holy damage to one enemy. Oh, oh, oh my! Are you saying Felix can be competent in combatant? Can be a competent combatant? I will perfect my own race of people. A race of atomic supermen, which will conquer the world! <laughs> hey, that's from Futurama! Ah, die, 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 die! You will respect my blood recycling! I'm a totally original plan! Yeah. Um... Saint uses 10 MP. This is the perfect place for us to use it, because... These guys are undead. Come on, let's see that. Four two nine. Not 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 bad. Not not bad at all. Just just saint. Just saint from Felix. I mean, once you've only like two hundred MP, then like we're gonna conserve. But until then, you are going to saint them so much. They're just not going to be able to get up in the morning. Felix casts Saint. He's just that good. Uh, oh yeah, we need to keep casting Saint and attack. We're focused, we're focused, and we're ready. Uh, Jack and Felix both do balance. Oh! Mark regained his balance! Celebrate, peoples! Actually, I'm sick of this. I need to... Can you get a fairy breath up? Because Jack is quite close to death. And, of course, we we found a harp. Okay, uh, let's just use some of our excess Guinness. Douche, 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 douche. I just used a Guinness to heal five health. Ugh. Okay, we don't know who this guy is, so we are going to save. Let us be ready. Go. If Shafu's rode the world, it's what I'd like to see, because everyone in the world would take a back seat to me. Mmm, I'm so important. Frank. Well, to be frank, Frank, I don't think you're very smart. Revealing your plan like that to, um, someone. We might want to stop you. We're just gonna use weapon break on him at the moment, just because we don't know how he attacks or how strong he is. So, basically, keeping a eye on him would be a smart move, which is ironically something we're actually gonna do. Yeah, I don't get it either. But still, we're gonna take him out. We're just gonna get enough for fairy's breath, get enough TP for fairy's breath, and then. Keep going. Otherwise, otherwise we might have trouble because who knows? Uh, it's just every anyone's low on health. Just fairy's breath and yeah. Confusion. No effect. Mark. 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 Thank. 
contact Felix. Well, to be fair, at the very least, Felix now has so much, and I mean so much TP, we can almost get off Fairy Breath twice in a row, which is good. Uh, we're gonna attack. Actually, we're gonna knock out a Fairy's Breath straight away. Because Worrying. Okay, we're going to attack. We are going to... Saint. We are going to weapon break. Confusion song. No effect on anyone but Mark. Mark. Damn it, Mark. Well, we win. Party was victorious, 450, 450, and a Jameson's 80% proof, A proof found. Okay. Well, deep 13. Okay, I think the next episode is going to be started from here. So, this is Mon Retro Gamer in deep 13 in Jack to the Future 2.0 plus bonus updates. Uh, signing off. See you guys then. If you like what you see, uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment. Heck, if you're not, why not subscribe? See you guys next time anyway. Bye for now.